Welcome back to another Cyber Squad gaming video, and today we're going to be doing a review and a dive into Athena Scope. I've been using this system for about a month, and I've got to grips with it over that time. So we're going to be looking at the pros, the cons, and the future I see for it. So what is Athena Scope? It's a small startup aiming to use AI to review and recap what gamers were able to pull off in their latest gaming session. If you have enough clips, they can turn it into a shareable highlight reel for you, or you can individually download the clips. The team is led by the founder of Xfire, a gaming messaging client from back in the 2000s that was eventually sold to Viacom for $100 million. In today's review and guide, we're going to take you through the bulk of the software. The internet interface, I'll show you the type of content captured, giving you a good expectation of what to expect from Athenoscope. The concept is simple, have the ability to automatically cut your clips and make you game highlights. The product is something a lot of gamers will be interested in, so I believe it's something that is done correctly, there is a large market for it. But before we go any further, I think it's important to just say it's free to use. With you being able to stream to their servers with a PC or stream to Twitch on your console or PC and they'll grab the footage from there. Other streaming sites like YouTube or Facebook Gaming, you have to use Restream or OBS Studio with NDI. If you want to know how to do that in a future video, let me know in the comments. If you meet certain criteria at the end of the week, say 13 kills or a chicken dinner, they'll make you a montage with music. This is you can post it to your social media. The music is copyright free so no worries about getting flagged, but they call this a showcase which we'll talk about further in this video. It's during these showcases that Athena Scope is going to put their watermark on the piece, and that's something we can't remove at this stage. But if you download the clips individually, you can have the option to remove the watermark. With the ability to download all the clips individually, if you choose you don't like the showcase or you want to do something else with your clips, you can have the freedom to independently go in, download all your clips, and make something of it yourself. Currently, there are 11 supported games, and I've put them up on the screen for you to have a look at. But they cover a large selection of the current competitive games. I've tested personally COD, Fortnite, Overwatch, PUBG, and Rocket League. Some work better than others. Rocket League seems to produce a high quality video every week. The music seems to work no matter what they choose. COD, on the other hand, gives epic reels one week, but the next week a slow music and lengthy clips can make that snappy feel disappear in the game. I could see this improving over time as the AI improves, or possibly different options for different music for different games. So once we go to athenascope.com, this is the main page once you log in. And here we can see all our previous game sessions, we can see all of our showcase videos, the games that are supported, clips that are trending in the community, we have then which showcases we've completed the requirements, the countdown to the requirements, basically. So it's a nice, simple interface. We can go to our individual gaming sessions here, and we can click on our last PUBG game. Here we have all our kills and knocks, and we have our montages put together from all the work that we did. So this is a pretty simple. We pin it if we want the AI to use it. We end up with a clip and edit function, which I'll show you in a second to download the individual clip Twitter to tweet it straight back out so as you can see here we're just playing through the clips you can turn the sound on you like it you download it and up there we go we download mp4 of that clip now the game also gets put together into a montage because we got a number of kills in this game session so we're able to look at all these kills that have been put together in a nice group of videos for us and we can tweak that straight out but we have the watermark here because it is a montage. Down on the left we can filter our different types of clips especially if we're streaming for three or four hours or creating lots of content and then you also have the ability to put it chronologically or in excellence where the AI looks at multi kills and multi knocks in order to prioritize what you want to pin. So pretty intuitive and pretty easy interface. We then also have our playlist which I haven't added anything to my playlist and we have our video showcase. These are all the showcases of all of the games that we've played recently. So again, I'll select a PUBG and you can see the music's come in. And the game has tried to put in some effects and some other things to make it interesting. So we've also got our Call of Duty game from the other day. And we can put that on and we can see what's going on here and we can play with that. So pretty simple, pretty easy. And then we've also got our pin videos. These are all the things that I pinned. I haven't pinned any. And then we have our get highlights. You can either import your video from Twitch or Mixer, 
and then download the app if you want to do it directly on your desktop. Pretty simple, pretty easy. I stream straight to the server and that's in the settings that you can set that up. And then the last thing here is notifications. When you log in, it will tell you your game clippers processed, etc. So here, this will start processing straight when you say, I finished streaming. It probably takes about 20 minutes for you to get all your clips, which isn't too bad in the grand scheme of things. So here I'm going to show you another edit function. So when we go into edit and you're playing Call of Duty, now you can see kill, 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 death. And you can see the time index. I can drag this back here and it zooms to where the start of the video is and you can see, okay, I killed this guy here. You can tighten it up and say, okay, I want it when that guy comes around the corner. But if I want to see my death, I can call over here and see the end of the video. Where do I want to end that clip? Do I want it to be somewhere here where I die? And then it will play from that point. And then you can regenerate your video. And I think that's really useful as well, that you can go in here and maybe extend a clip that's 15 seconds to 45 seconds and get multiple kills in it. Now let's take a look at the pros and the cons and the future ideas and where I could see this going because it's just a startup. So it's fast. You stream and you wait 5 to 15 minutes and you get highlights. It's so simple in the grand scheme of things. And those highlights are going to be straight up to your Twitter or to your YouTube. It's easy to use. I think right now when you manually edit things, you probably get a better cut. But at the same time, it's going to take you 10 times longer to edit it properly. Ease of use. Link it to your Twitch. Link it to your direct stream or your restream. And next thing you know, you've got highlights. And now the cons. It only allows you to do 720p. And the upload bitrate is 9 megabytes. It's kind of the limit. And I think they kind of recommend 5. So if you're looking for that 1080p crisp clean YouTube content, you really want to be at 1080p 16 megabytes per second. And that right now, that isn't offered. There's no multi-delete ability. So large content edits are kind of difficult. If you end up with 30 kills in a game and you play five, six games, you can end up with a lot of videos to go through. And it'd be great just to pin the ones that you don't want or select the ones you don't want and just hit delete, mass delete. I think that's the next upgrade I would really like to see. I think also a lot of people capture much better quality video, such as I normally record at 1080p at 30 or 40 megabytes per second. And I'd love to be able to upload that directly to them and get them to clip that, even if I had to wait longer for the content. I would love to be able to remove the water logo mark on the actual montages and showcases, but I understand that they want to raise awareness for Athenoscope, and I think there will be an option to remove it in the future if they ever went to a non-free model. And then the last thing for me is when it dates the montage, you end up pinning the clips you think are best for that montage, but the AI doesn't necessarily always pick those clips. So maybe it'd be nice if you get to a montage that you could drag and drop the clips that you wanted from a selection so you really get the best montage. Often people only watch videos for 3 to 15 seconds and it'd be great if the first opening scene wasn't you killing one dude with a machine gun and instead was you double killing two guys with a sniper rifle or was scoring an impossible goal on Rocket League versus a really really simple one that you didn't really want people to see. And that brings me to future ideas. Now, this is pure speculation. I haven't talked to the company. I haven't talked to the developers, but I could just see where this is going potentially. I think as their servers get bigger and better, it could end up being that we can upload videos. We can get higher quality and we can pay for the ability to get 4K clips, etc. Right now, if you're a console player, you have to stream directly to Twitch, which not everyone likes doing because everyone gets notified on your friend list when you do that, and then you have to basically get your clips. So a console app that you could direct stream to the server for clips would be a really, really cool thing. One thing I said about montage is the ability to select certain clips. I think that there will be a possibility of that in the future. I could see if you're paying more money, you might have the ability to pick a certain track you want or pick other options, and I think that would be great. And then the last thing I think could come in the future is with the improvement of AI, could we have certain montage clips? So go back and look at the last 14 days of my Call of Duty gameplay and just pull out sniper shots, right? Or Rocket League, go in and look at the last month of my play and pull out all my epic saves. Or in PUBG, pull out all my chicken dinner last 30 seconds. And those kind of options could really give you the ability to have interesting and diverse clips generated by the AI. Now, I've said I've been using this for about a month, and overall, I have to say, this is a great product. It's a great idea. It's a great 
way to get content creators access to their content quickly, efficiently, and cutting out a lot of the boring, long work that's required to cut out five kills from two hours of gameplay. Now, I'll be looking to see how this evolves in the future, and if we get major updates, I'll do a re-review and I'll tell everyone about the new features. But for right now, all I can say is sign up, get on this, I recommend it, let's give it a try, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. Now, I hope this review was good. I hope all this information was useful for you. If you do like the video, remember to subscribe, give a like, and uh, share this video. Thanks very much.